Welcome to BioEntre Studies. I'm Vanessa Kapanash, a bioanthropological researcher. Today, I'm going to talk about Hallis Helmington and Fossey Jaw. Hallis Helmington was fundamental to reform occupational laws in the United States in the 20th century by advocating against the use of toxic substance in the workplace. Helmington reported workplace conditions by visiting mines and factories and assessing hospital records. But most importantly, Helmington interviewed the workers, considering their account more credible than their employers. Alice Helmington was born in 1869 and grew up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. In 1893, she earned a medical degree at the University of Michigan. Helmington moved to Chicago for a teaching position at the Northern University. She also took residence on the Hull House, a settlement house. Helmington served as Hull's physician and opened a well baby clinic. It was in this house that Helmington was exposed firsthand to the effects of dangerous workplaces on workers' health. In 1902, Chicago suffered a typhoid epidemic. To investigate what was causing it, Alice Helmington captured flies on open and drained previous close to the Hull House. She found that the flies carried typhoid bacillus, linking the contaminated water to the epidemic. Along with other Hull residents, Helmington urged the Chicago Board of Health to clean and improve the sewage system. The governor of Illinois appointed Helmington as the head medical investigator of the Illinois Commission on Occupational Diseases. Helmington and her team investigated occupational diseases from toxic elements as lead, white phosphorus, arsenic, and zinc melting. The commission wrote the Illinois survey documenting their findings on industrial illness. This, in turn, led to the creation of the first workers' compensation laws in Illinois in 1911 and in Indiana in 1915. She continued to investigate occupational diseases on a federal job as a special investigator for the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Alice Helmington became the first female assistant professor at Harvard, but the position came with some limitations. She could not participate in Harvard's social events. But Helmington also had a stipulation of her own. She would only teach for one semester, and the rest of the year she would return to the whole house to continue her research. In 1925, she authored the first American textbook on industrial poisons. Helmington retired from Harvard in 1935, but that didn't stop her. After retirement, she became a medical consultant to the U.S. Division of Labor Standards. She also served as president of the National Consumers League between 1944 and 1949. Alice Helmington passed away in 1970. Her work was so important and influential that three months after her death, the Congress passed the Occupational Safety and Health Act. Alice Helmington is best known for her investigation on the effects of lead poisoning, but she also had a part in creating awareness on the osteonecrosis of the jaw, known as Fossey Jaw, which was caused by contact with phosphorus in the production of white matches in poor working conditions. Fossey Jaw was a distressing industrial disease with severe social implications. He affected mostly women and children, but could also affect adult males. Fossey jaw would usually start with the formation of dull redness at the gum, followed by a painful toothache. An ulcer will then be formed and lead to exposure of bone at the jaw associated with bone destruction. Tooth loss would also happen. The exposed bone would be associated with necrosis which is the death of the bone tissue. The fossy jaw was a painful condition that could cause facial disfigurement associated with a false smell due to pus discharge. Depending on the lesion, it could lead to the inability to eat solid food or even death. While she resided at the whole house, Alice Elmington was first acknowledged on fossy jaw cases by John Andrews of the U.S. Bureau of Labor. Later on, while working at the Illinois Commission on Occupational Diseases, Helmington and her team also reported on Fossey Jaw at the Illinois Survey. Their findings led to law changes. In 1911, Illinois enforced the law to have match workers attend monthly physical examinations. Their work led to Congress enforcing high taxes on the use of white phosphorus. 
abolishing its use in 1919. If you like this video, subscribe to never miss a video by BioEntra Studies.